I forgot to mention, also have a huge amount of self-heal right here, right next to the red clover. So that's red clover, ready to go to seed, self-heal, all the different biodiversity. And every year it gets more and more. Now I gotta move the sheep are there after I dosed them. They're gonna go down this alleyway, across the driveway, and I'm gonna try and get them into that field over there. Come on, girls! Woo! Come on! Come on, girls! Woo! Come on! Woo! Come on, girls! Come on! Come on. Good. The electric fence worked. Not supposed to eat my baby trees. Come on, girls. These two were treated earlier. Feeling sore. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go on. Come on. They almost know where to go, which is fantastic. Except for these last few. Go on. You guys catch up with the rest. Go on. Go on, ladies and babies. Go on, out of girls and boys. There we go. Well, they're weathers. They'll move out there. Now, in the mineral buckets, I've put water to loosen up the minerals so that they can drink them in the heat. Because like us humans, they will lose electric lights and minerals. So also, Made it so there's fresh water coming in. So yay, that job's done. And it's not yet 11 o'clock in the morning. And I've been drenched with the sweat in the work involved. Just put the yo's out there and discovered there's loads of this herb in here. Look at it, it's a beautiful pink flower. And this is a field that is grazed by sheep. And everybody says you can't get biodiversity of flora because the sheep will eat it all. It's how you manage the land. It's how you manage the land. Here's yarrow. People say sheep don't eat yarrow. There you can see the head has been eaten. But they've left the rest of the plant. So you can see there's loads of this purple it's kind of like a native geranium type wild character. So there's more yarrow. Yarrow is very good for, as an anti-worm, um, uh, for parasitical worms. Yes, there's nettles, but they have their own parasites who eat them. You can see this nettle is dying a natural death because it's being eaten by something. So, yeah, biodiversity can be in fields of sheep. It's how you manage the fields that matters. And that's what I try and do here. There's a butterfly just floating around down there. So it's getting very hot.